Now, I'm going to be tying this fly here. Now, uh, this is a uh, chocolate drop card. Now, hook choices and tie up to itself. This is uh, a fully mill hook. It's a size 12. It's a medium wired hook, the, the all rounder. Uh, it's a barbed hook. If you don't want to use the barb, you can obviously quite easily take the barb out and press it in your vise. But I'm keeping it on this, this one just now. The thread, just a uni thread uh, in dark brown, an 8 -0. Just put wax on my thread and we wind down. Put a layer of thread along the shank till we get to the point before we just before we get around the bend and then remove the waste. The body is really easy, just yellow and uh, a dark brown seals fur. Now this is basically gives the impression of the egg sac. So we dub this on, quite light, slide it up, now start it off and then what I'm going to do here is come up about 2 mil or so, come through it, coming back down and then back up. This basically tightens it up and gives you a nice shape. I'm going to do much the same with the, the brown, the dark brown. So I'm going to lightly dub it onto the thread. To basically get dubbing like this, you've really got to blend it up or in a blender. It makes it much easier to actually dub on. So I'm going to do much the same as what I did to form the egg sac at the back for the body. Take it up to about a third away of the shank from the, the eye. Come through it. Work our way down, stretching out the dubbing. And then we come back up. Get a taper into our body. Always tightening as we go. And we're happy we can remove the excess. Now I'm just going to roll this within my fingers. Keeping it quite rough. You could make it, you could trim it back a wee bit to get more of a shape in the body. But the, the body is there. The shape is there, so it's okay. The under wing is a brown deer here. Just a dyed brown. Not too much, don't go crazy and put too heavy a wing on. Trim it close to the skin, open the fibres out, remove the fine under fur because I'm going to stack it. Stack it here and what you do, tips first into the stacker. Tap it on your desk. We're lined up so we remove it. This is going to be the under wing and it's going to be shorter than the main wing so I'm going to tie this to the to the end of the hook, put the finger and thumb, the wing that you want, trim this to about say a mil and a half away and then tie in these cut ends. A couple of turns on and then you want to cut the thread turns into the cut ends of the deer hair. And take it back up, see how our wing's sitting. Don't worry if it's spread slightly, it's support of the actual main wing itself, the CDC. So there we are, I'm just going to show you. So that then supports the CDC, which is a natural white, dyed, uh, a dark brown really. So we've got two feathers, two medium to large feathers. Just lay one on top of the other. Now I only want about half of the, this bottom half, keep that for dubbing or something else. So I've obviously lined them up. Slightly longer than the main wing. You're looking for a wing round about, to get a measurement about the length of the hook. Slightly longer obviously than the deer hair. Tie that right on the top. Nice pinching loop, two or three turns. See where the wing's sitting. Happy with the shape. Yep. Trim away the excess. And then wax on your thread. You want a nice base of thread down to wind your hackle on. So it's worth going down and back up. It is a tapered, it's tapered towards the eye, but it's it's smooth, so your hackle should wind reasonably easy, shouldn't roll on you. Now the hackle I'm using is uh, it's a large cape I've got. Uh, this it's hard to see with because I'm the close up, but the, it's the Hebert Miner and it's a dry fly hackle, and this one's a, a brown. 
It's a nice feather to use. So what I'm going to do is take away the fluff at the bottom, remove some of the fibre to reveal the stem, then we tie it in, you can basically tie it in anyway because you'll see why, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind the hackle down and back up, then back down, really make it quite thick, dense. So what I'm going to do is wind down, to about head length away from the eye, come back up, all the way back up, and then come back through it. You'll get two flies out of one of these hackles, I'll get another one. Cross your thread when you're happy, get three or four turns in, and then very easy just to hold back the fibre, form a small head with the thread, keeping the thread tight, let the hackle go, but get straight in and wet finish. And then trim away the thread, trim away the hackle. As I say, you'll get another fly easily out of this, so a big really long. I've got a really nice thin stem, and there we are. And this is a nice style to tie a caddis fly. Now what I'm going to do is just retouch a varnish, touch the head, let it soak towards the head, the thread, and then piece of wire, I'm just going to clean out the eye. There we go, that's a CDC caddis pattern. Now you could tie it the same style in any colours that suit the caddis that you're trying to represent. Now this is a chocolate drop, just a brown caddis. It's a very good pattern. Uh, a bit of fun to tie. Uh, easy, some nice tying methods within that dressing. So I hope you enjoyed that. Mm -hmm.